In this lecture, we are going to create another API to fetch all the messages of a chat between two users. So let's again go to message controller file. And in this file, first of all, I'm requiring this message model two times. So I will remove this statement from here and we'll keep this one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a get route. So on the router, let's call the get method. So this get method will handle any get request coming to this route. Let's specify the path here. So let's say the path is get all messages. Okay. Then here we are also going to use the auth middleware. And then let's specify the callback function, which will be executed whenever a request will come to this route. Okay. Let me specify a slash here. All right. Now inside this, let's go ahead and let's write a try catch block. From this catch block, we are going to return a response, an error response. And for that, I'm going to set the status code to 400 for bad request. And then we are going to send a response. In the response, we are going to send a message. And the message will be the actual error message that we can read from the error object. And in this case, the success is going to be false. Okay. Now let's go to the try block. And here, let's try to read all the messages of a given chat. So let's create a variable. Let's call it all messages. And to get all messages on the message model, we are going to call the find method. Okay. And to this find method, we are going to pass a filter object and we want to filter the messages of a given chat. And how are we going to filter messages for a given chat? using the chat ID. So each message will belong to a chat and each message is also storing the chat ID of that chat. So using that chat ID, we are going to filter all the chats. Now the question is from where we are going to get that chat ID. So let's say when we are going to make a request to this endpoint with that request, we are going to send the chat ID in the route parameter of the request. Okay. So here we are going to specify the chat ID and we are going to read that chat ID from the request parameter for that we can say request dot params. So from the request params, we can read any route parameter which is coming with the request. And from there in that params, we are going to have a chat ID. So we are going to read that chat ID. Okay. Then whatever response we are going to receive here on that, we are going to use this sort method sort all the messages and we want to sort all the messages based on when that message was sent when that was created in the database so here i'm going to pass created at and i'm going to set it to one because we want to sort in ascending order and this should be it now let's go ahead and let's send a response so for that let's say response dot send and what response do we want to send First of all, we want to set a message here and in the message, we will say messages fetched successfully. We are going to set the success property here to true. And finally, we are also going to send the data in the response and this data is going to be all messages. And this is our API for getting all the messages of a given chat. Let's save the changes here. And currently, if I go to the database, there in the chats, if I refresh, we have three chats. And if I go to messages, there we have one message. And this message belong to this chat ID, which ends with 425AF. So now if we go to chats collection, so this chat. So for this chat, which we started between John and Mark, for that chat, we have one message. Okay. So let's go to Postman. And again, I'm going to save this request first. For that, first, I'm going to create a new collection. Let's rename it. And let's call it Message Controller. And in that, let's 
save this request sorry i should be saving this request so i'm going to call it create new message and i want to save it in message controller okay now there is something wrong with here let's try to send the request again so for some reason it is not returning us the response let's go to terminal and here we have an error and it says router is not defined in message controller let's go to message controller oh it should be route and not router okay let's save the changes again let's go back to terminal and now everything is working as expected let's make a request here to get to create a new message so now there are two messages which has been created with the same text now let me close this one and let's open a new tab and now we want to get all the messages for a given chat so here first of all let me copy this url let's paste it here okay and the api endpoint is get all messages let's change it here so this is the api endpoint now with this api we are also going to pass the chat id with the route parameter and to add the route parameter we will add another slash and here we will specify the chat id and i'm going to copy that chat id from here so for this chat id we want to get all the messages let's go to postman let's pass it here and let's send a request and here we have an error and it says cannot get all right that's because here we need to specify the route parameter also so that we are going to call it as chat id okay and then we are reading that chat id parameter let's go back to postman again let's make a request again and let's see if in that case it works all right this error we have because we also need to add the authorization token which we have not added okay that's why on that it was trying to add split but since that token was not added the bearer token was not added the value was undefined and on that we were calling the split method but anyway let's send the request again and now it says jwt expired so let's go to user login let's send a login request again let's go ahead and let's copy this json web token and let's add it here to this request and now let's send the request again and again here we have an error let's go to terminal and let's see if we have any errors there so it says response is not defined in message controller here we are in the message controller all right this method is also going to get the request and response object so that we forgot to add let's save the changes again let's go to terminal so everything is now working as expected let's send the request again and now you see in the response we are receiving two messages and these two messages are same because i sent the same request twice so with the same text two messages are created okay if i go back to create new message and here let's go to body and there let me add another message where are you let's send the message from john to mark itself so john will be the sender again let's send the message here also jwt has expired so copy the jwt go to authorization and change the value there all right let's send the request now so another chat has been created let's go to get all chats get all messages and then let's send the request again so for the same chat id now we should have three messages as you can see so as you can see our get all messages api for a given chat is also working as expected and with this the backend development for our real time chat application is almost done now we are going to do some changes here and there and we might also need to add some more apis but we are not going to do it now 
from the next lecture we will start working on front end development so for now we are going to pause the back end development of our real time chat application and we are going to start on the front end development from the next lecture and if any changes is required in the back end code we will do it in the same lecture this is all from this lecture and from this section i'll see you in the next section where we are going to implement the front end of our real time chat application thank you for listening and have a great day